him being tall is an advantage, but it's also a disadvantage. You know, we wanted to attack the legs. We just wanted to be calculated in everything we did. We watch his past fights. Well, I, my camp has watched his past fights, and we know that guys tend to hurt him, over pursue, and empty their gas tank, and you know, just like Hector did, and he's beat a couple guys like that. So we just wanted to, you know, go in, hurt him, and be calculated, and and, and, and still be aggressive, but not empty no gas tank and just tear him apart. <laughs> I think I made a pretty big statement. You know, I'm not even ranked, so I couldn't tell you if even if they're was rankings from 1 to 50, you know, I, I couldn't tell you where I was at, so, you know, I think it just shows a lot, you know, I took the fight on short notice, I finished them in the, in the first round, you know, and um, I don't feel like it was a lucky shot, you know, I think it was just right from the get-go, you know, sticking to the game plan, and, and it showed, you know, where I was at in this division. I felt like he had more pressure on him than I did, you know, I'm, I'm not known, you know, I'm not ranked. He's a number seven guy, you know, and uh, it was it would be bad for me to come in there and beat him, you know. So I was just going in like it's just another fight, you know. That you know I want to win. I'm not saying that you know I'm going in there to lose, but I had no pressure. I don't even think I had enough time to even have pressure, you know. I was so focused on training, and by the time I was thought about training, I was driving out to Vegas, you know, doing fight week. So there's no pressure on me. I. See stuff on the on the media uh, and the internet, you know, and, and comments, you know, when when UFC posts stuff and, and Fight Pass was posting stuff, and I see the comments of fans like, you know, who is this guy? Who is he? I don't, you know. So it's just one of those things where, you know, I felt like, okay, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you. I'm just curious to see whoever's gonna, you know. Whoever's gonna point me in the right direction and, and it's gonna market me, you know, and uh, build me as a fighter, and and uh, I'm just gonna sit with my team and my management and go from there. I feel like I'm, I'm a marketable guy, you know. I'm not. I feel like I can talk. I'm not, I'm not the greatest talker, but I'm not just like oh, you, know, you know. I feel like I can have a, <coughs> I can hold a conversation. So you know, and I feel like I, I'm an exciting fighter to watch, you know, and. Um, I feel like I'm marketable, so you know we'll see. You know I'm gonna see what my manager is talking about and and with my coaches, you know, and just go from there. I'm 29. You know I've I experienced a lot, you know, in my career, and you know I've I started. I was real stubborn, you know, and and when I was amateur, I was I was heavyweight. You know I weighed 240. I was fighting guys big, you know, and uh, went turned pro, turned to, went down to 205. And then 85 and then now 70, you know, but this is my weight class and, you know, this is where I want to be at and, you know, this is where I'm going to make some noise at, you know, I feel like.